We're here in the Conservation Laboratory at the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum, Stephen F. Budbar Hazy Center. And I'm with Amanda Malcolm, who's one of our paper conservators. And we have in front of us one of the oldest flying objects in the Smithsonian collection. It's a Chinese kite built around the city of Canton, as it was in the 19th century, and sent to the Philadelphia exhibition, uh, the Centennial Exhibition in uh, 1876, as an example of Chinese culture. So it's very important as one of our oldest flying objects in the collection, but also very frail. So Amanda, what do you do uh, to conserve, preserve an object like this? Um, so, as you said, these kites are not in great condition. Um, the paper itself is a Chinese, traditional Chinese paper, and it's been wrapped onto a bamboo frame. And the bamboo has been bent, and there are multiple pieces that have been bent and tied together with um, actually a twisted paper and then adhered in place. Wow. Yes. The paper of all of the kites is very brittle. The bamboo is broken and missing on some of the kites. Um, so our main goal, because, of, because these kites are so important to the collection, we want to stabilize the materials to make sure that they last for a long time. The first step in stabilization is really to understand what your materials are. Know that we're working with bamboo. We're working with a Chinese paper, which is generally a short fibered paper. Um, we're also, we have these really beautiful pigments that very likely have faded, are flaking. There's some white here that you can see is missing that's from flaking pigment. So although the kites are in really poor condition, um, conservator's job is to make them last for a really long time. So stabilizing the materials and putting them in proper housing in proper environmental conditions. I want people in the future to see these prize cultural examples of, of kites. 